Hi, Jenny here. Today we are going to make one more Halloween treat before the day actually gets here. So I'm going to be making some cupcakes with a spiderweb design on top. Let's get started. Okay, to make our cupcakes, I'm going to take a little bit of an easy way out. I'm just going to use a box mix. You can use any flavor that you'd like. I'm just using vanilla today. We're going to make the cake mix according to directions. So we're going to need one cup of water and a half cup of vegetable oil and three eggs. And then I'm just also using some store-bought orange frosting and we're going to put some black gel on top of that and then we're going to use a toothpick and drag it through to make that spider web. We will put our cake mix into a mixing bowl and then we're just going to add our water, oil and eggs right away and we're going to beat that well. All right, you can either spray your cupcake tin if you'd like, or um, use the cute little cupcake holders. So seeing as I'm doing Halloween, I have some cute little Halloween cupcake liners. Like to at the end of the season, I like to buy the cupcake liners um, when they're on sale. So that way I have them for the next year and I'm not paying full price. <laughs> And that's so, we're going to fill these about halfway. We're going to bake these in a 350 degree oven for about 15 minutes. I like to use a big serving spoon, so bigger than the tablespoon, but that seems to work, work well. All right, I have all 24 cupcake liners filled. So now we're going to bake them in that 350 degree oven for boxes 12 to 17 minutes. So I'm gonna go 15 and we'll check it there. All right, it's been 15 minutes. We will check our cupcakes and see if they are done. They smell pretty good. Ooh. Looking pretty good. Puffed up. Take a toothpick and we'll put it in the middle of a cupcake. See that it comes out clean, and it does. And it doesn't feel mushy inside or anything, it feels nice and tight. So they are done, we will let them cool. After the cupcakes have cooled for a few minutes in the tray, I'm going to take them out of the tray and put them on a cooling rack. Um, they can cool long enough. So that way they can cool completely quicker so I can put the frosting on. All right, with the spiderweb cupcakes, you can leave them as they are, looking like just spiderwebs. Or, if you're feeling up to it, you can make some spiders to go on top. Now, one of the, um, the recipe that I saw in my one cookbook used gumdrops and licorice. Uh, but I thought of, I've done this before, I have this really awesome Hello Cupcake book and one of the years my daughter was into insects and so we made um, an insect birthday party so I made cupcakes that kind of look like that so there's a template in here that uh, you can just find online or whatever and all that too, there's a template of of all kinds of creepy bugs, scorpions and centipedes and all that. So what I did was I made a copy of it on a piece of paper and then what we're going to do is put this under some wax paper 
I think I'm just going to try, there is a spider on here. Um, so we're going to just put this under the wax paper and then you use melted chocolate and you make the um, insect. And then I can just move my template through, you know, around on the wax paper so I can keep making the same bug. You can make different bugs if you want to. I'd like bugs caught in the web. <laughs> so let's, let's get started doing that. Okay, so as you can see from the picture, what they did was they have some melted chocolate and then they put an M&M on top to help form the body. So you want to make sure that when you're doing this, all the legs are connected and everything. Um, they use candy melts. I happen to have green candy melts. I don't have chocolate. I can try chocolate chips too. We'll see how that works. And then some type of M&Ms if you want. You can just make them plain chocolate too. You don't need anything extra. Recipe says to start with one cup of the melted candies. You have a sandwich baggie. Don't cut anything, um, any holes in it, snip it yet or anything. We'll do that after it's melted. So I'll start with one cup of the green and then I'll try some chocolate chips and see how that goes too. So once you get your uh, melting chips in there, you don't want to seal the baggie. You want the air to be able to come out. I'm going to microwave it for 10 seconds and then see how melted it is, massage the bag and all that. And we're going to keep going every 10 seconds until we get this completely melted. Yeah, that really didn't do anything. It says it's going to take about a minute. I don't know how long a baggie can be in there. Let's try 30 seconds. I don't know, I keep changing my mind, right? As my husband says, who follows directions? Right? You gotta experiment. Dry. <laughs> They're starting to melt. Still a couple hard pieces in here, but most of it's melted, so I don't want to really go anymore. Try to see if I can just mush them. All right, looks good enough. So now I want to get all the air out of here, and then we'll seal the baggie. And then we will snip. Snip a tiny hole the corner of our baggie. All right, I'm gonna push some of the chocolate away. So get all that out and we're just gonna snip a tiny corner. You can always make a bigger corner. We're gonna start with tiny. Obviously we're making little legs and stuff. So here I had made two template sheets. There's eight and a half by 11. So they nicely fit into a um, like 11 by 17 cookie sheet. And I have a piece of wax paper on top. So let's see if you can see the template underneath. So now we will try to push all the chocolate to that corner and we'll make some of these insects. And you want to remember you want to make sure that all of these are touching. So that when you take them off of here, they will all stick together, be one piece. I don't know, man. This is too big. Ooh Although then again, you also need them kind of big so that they do <laughs> come off of here and they don't break. Alright, 
So after you make all the insects that you want to, then we're just going to put this in the refrigerator to harden. Well, I ended up getting, looks like, 22 insects on this sheet. So now it'll go in the refrigerator to harden. We will now frost our cupcakes. So, so I saw I bought some orange frosting at the grocery store. Um, if you can't find orange, you can use vanilla and put orange food coloring in, type of thing, whatever. But that that's really orange. <laughs> Whoa! It's gonna make your tongue really orange, I bet, when you eat it. Um, so this is Funfetti. It came with some extra little sprinkles, so obviously if you're making any other type of cupcake, you can use sprinkles. We'll save those for another time. All right, we'll be using some black gel for the spider web. So when you open up one of these, I should probably try to mush it a little bit, make sure it's not liquidy. But it comes with um, a tip on the end that you have to cut off. So you take your scissors, snip that off. And then we will draw round circles Take our toothpick and then we'll drag it through. So it'll hopefully look like a spider web. Oh yeah, and then you're supposed to have a cloth in <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Have a napkin and wipe it off. So here are the insects out of the refrigerator. So they've hardened now. So then you just want to try to peel them up really carefully. So obviously the thicker legs will be easier. So you don't want to make your legs too thin so they don't break off. But So there you have some cute little Halloween-y cupcakes. Yay! Um, the insects probably would have turned out better with uh, chocolate chips, chocolate frosting, than the green. They don't really quite look like insects. <laughs> it's a Halloween color. But, you know, they use up what I have. So, I hope you guys have a happy Halloween. I will leave the directions for how to do this in the description below. Let me know in the comments down below um, what you like to do for fun for Halloween. What kind of uh, fancy treats do you like? 
I'm gonna enjoy my snack. You guys keep it positive. Go make it a great day. Bye bye. So <laughs> eat my spider. That's kind of a. It's more like a flower than a spider. All right, we'll try the cupcake. We'll see if it turns my tongue orange. Very tasty cupcake. Am I too orange? Let's see. No, not yet. Well, that's good. Let's try my chocolate spider. Chocolatey. I'm gonna like my nails. Any pumpkins? And ghosties. Should probably put pumpkins on that hand. I only have a pumpkin ring. I'll have to go find myself a ghost or a spider ring. Yay! Happy Halloween!